Resin is a thick substance that typically comes from a plant or is made synthetically in a factory. It helps give items texture and strength, and some of the creations made with it are simply incredible. Today, let's take a look at the top 15 most unbelievable resin creations. Number 15. The Mercedes. Most resin creations would be small enough to fit inside your home, but Mercedes made their resin statue stand out by making it large enough to hold an entire car. Displayed at the 2018 Detroit Auto Show, Mercedes decided to encase an entire 1979 Mercedes 280 GEG class in a massive slab of amber-colored resin to make the car appear fossilized. Made over the course of 90 days and using nearly 100,000 pounds of resin, the resulting sculpture was more than 18 feet long and 10 feet tall, and when weighed along with its transport rack and underframe, it came in at a meaty 52 tons. As a result, it goes without saying that this statue really stole the show that year. Number 14. Resin Painting While most aspiring painters would go to an art store and buy some acrylic paint if they wanted to create a painting, it turns out that the glossiness and color-absorbing properties of resin make it a very effective form of paint as well. In order to make it, all you have to do is take clear resin and mix it with a colored powder. Once it's mixed, it must be layered onto a canvas just like regular paint would, and from there the possibilities are endless. With many resin painters using tools such as blow dryers and brushes in order to create different visual effects, when finished, resin paintings often have a beautiful glossy look that simply can't be replicated with other material. Number 13. The Fire Table Created by Blacktail Studio in Portland, Oregon, we're sure this table is selling like hotcakes because it has a beautiful charred black color thanks to it being treated with real fire. You see, it's first created by charring a slab of maple wood with an open flame, ensuring that it remains level despite being burned until its color is jet black. Then the slab is treated with black epoxy resin, left to settle, fully sanded, and then treated with additional epoxy and chemicals to create a perfect black slab. When then combined with similarly charred legs, you're left with a black table. However, while this certainly is stunning, at a price of 8,000 bucks a pop, you'd have to have pretty deep pockets to buy your own. Number 12. Resin Fingernails For those of you who like to get your nails painted from time to time, then you may want to consider asking for resin the next time you go to the nail salon. Now, while the fake nails being attached aren't made of resin, said resin can be used as a glue to attach them to the nail. Now, the main benefit of using resin instead of a traditional gluing agent is because it tends to not just be an effective way to apply tips, repair nails, and attach silk or fiberglass nails, but it also is rather affordable. As a result, resin has become increasingly sought after in nail salons over the last few years. Number 11. Resin Skulls Surfboard manufacturers often use resin to coat their boards, allowing them to not only make interesting designs, but also to strengthen them in the process. However, there are times when these manufacturers have resin left over, and as a result, Electrofish Surfboards chose to address this problem by creating specially made resin skulls. Coming in at about a height of 12 centimeters and coming in a beautiful swirled pattern, these spectacular skulls would be the perfect addition to any Halloween-themed setup. Best of all, at only 19 bucks for one, they certainly are a steal. Number 10. Resin Pasta While resin may not be the first thing you'd think of adding to your dinner plate, in recent years, chefs around the world have been adding tree resin to their rigatoni. The secret to these resin recipes is an ingredient known as mastic resin. Made from the hardened resin from small evergreen trees, it's only produced in a few small Greek villages and thus is pretty difficult to get your hands on. However, once the mastic resin is in your possession, you can get to work. If you want to make your own resin pasta, the steps are luckily quite simple. That's because outside of doing the normal things you would do to make pasta, the resin topping can be made simply by melting mastic resin in a shallow pan with a little bit of water and extra virgin olive oil. Giving it its creamy texture, the resin can then be added to a pasta dish in order to give it an extra kick. Number 9. Epoxy Preservation One of the useful features of epoxy is that it can act as a great preserving agent, and thus is often used to make small figurines that preserve the color and shape of flowers, leaves, and small animals. Luckily, the process for making these small statues is rather simple. First, you must use a small cup to make a mixture that has equal parts of epoxy resin and hardener. Then you can take your flower, leaf, or small animal and cover it with either a mixture of water and glue or hairspray to ensure that it doesn't react with the epoxy. 
Once prepped, you can then place it into the epoxy solution and allow it to harden, taking about 12 to 48 hours to do so. Once complete, you will then have a clear resin display case that will preserve your small piece of nature for years to come. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Resin Lamps while most nightstand lamps really aren't all that interesting, resin lamps stand out for combining beautiful colors with unique designs to make one-of-a-kind lamps. Now, in order to create one, you must first craft a solid wood base with holes to allow the insertion of electrical wiring. Then, once you have two separate blocks of wood that are attached with an electrical wire, you must then squeeze them together with an adjustable glass container in order to pour in the epoxy resin. This epoxy resin can have a mix of colors added to it in order to make it unique. And you can choose to either pop or leave the air bubbles that appear within the epoxy based on personal preference. From there, the epoxy resin has to be left to settle overnight. And once hardened, it can be sanded in order to give the lamp a smooth and consistent finish. Yet if you aren't exactly the creative type, you can bypass all of this by buying your own epoxy lamp online. However, be warned that while there are some inexpensive options out there, you'll likely have to pay up. After all, with many lamps costing hundreds of dollars, many decide to make it a DIY project rather than fork over the large amounts of cash needed to purchase one. Number 7. Resin Globes Although you need some serious woodworking machines in order to make one, it's entirely possible to make beautiful globes out of resin. To do so, you first must take a regular log and put it on a wood spinner. From there, you must shave down the wood until it's in the shape of a globe. Once in this shape, you then must chisel all of the continents into the wood and then pour blue epoxy over it while it sits in a sealed container. Then, after this is given a chance to harden overnight, the container can be taken out and the entire globe can be put back on the wood spinner. From there, the woodcrafter takes a blade and puts it at a distance so all of the continents have the epoxy stripped off of them. Once this process is complete and the globe is polished, you're left with a piece that has beautiful blue epoxy water and land that shows the original color of the wood. Number six, resin knives. Although these knives don't have cutting abilities that come even close to those of practically any other material, epoxy resin knives can be a colorful companion to a knife collection. To make one, you first have to start by making a mold of your knife out of cardboard. Once this is done, you can choose to either place a cutout of the mold over an existing piece of hardened epoxy and cut around it, or pour epoxy into the mold and wait for it to solidify. In both cases, you are then left with an epoxy blade which can then be fitted with a wooden handle and sharpened in order for it to be used as an actual knife. Unfortunately, though, it turns out these knives aren't very strong. After all, considering that they can barely cut through paper, you probably won't have many practical uses for them. However, if you simply desire a cool-looking colored knife, then an epoxy resin knife may be for you. Number 5. Resin Surfboards Although the surfboards of years past were made out of wood, as crafting materials have begun to evolve, surfboards have done so as well. As a result, modern surfboards are often made using polyurethane foam and polyester resin. This has allowed these boards to become lighter over time. Thanks to resin having the potential of being colored, extremely cool surfboard designs can now be created. One such example of this would be the boards made by Electrofish, as they often use colored resin on top of their boards to make decals that would otherwise be impossible to craft. Over time, there's also been a trend towards using epoxy resin instead of polyester resin to make these designs. This is primarily because epoxy resin is a healthier, lighter, and stronger alternative to polyester resin. For example, when working with polyester resin, glassers must wear masks to ensure the harmful chemicals won't damage their respiratory system. However, since epoxy resin emits 50 to 75% fewer volatile organic compounds than polyester resin, it's much safer to work with. On the performance side of things, epoxy resin is also preferable due to its light weight. This is because resin makes up a large part of a completed board's overall mass, and therefore, since relatively small amounts of epoxy resin are needed to coat a surfboard, this leads to a lighter board that's easier to use. As a final note, epoxy resin is generally stronger than polyester resin, and this leads to epoxy-coated surfboards being significantly more durable. As a result of all of these factors combined, surfboards coated with epoxy resin have become the best and brightest thing in the surfboarding world. Number 4. Resin Sculptures Due to resin being such a durable yet lightweight material, it's often used in the creation of figurines, so they're easier to ship. However, in order to make such a sculpture, a rather long process must be followed. 
Firstly, the sculpture's creator must make a model of the sculpture out of clay and carve every fine detail into the molding. Then, after an anti-sticking agent is added, it is placed into a cylinder and covered with a liquid silicone and rubber mix in order to create the mold. This mold would be ready to be used after about 14 to 15 hours, and once ready, it would then be filled with a mix of resin and pecan shell flour, with the flour strengthening the resin and giving it a distinct brown color. From there, it takes less than an hour for the resin mixture to harden into shape of the mold, allowing for the fast production of these statues. However, this method is not the only way in which a resin sculpture can be created, as another popular technique is to use a resin product known as composimold. Now, composimold is a rubbery, flexible resin that can be poured on top of a sculpture to create a mold. This mold would then be made in as little as 30 minutes by freezing it, and once created, it could then be filled with regular resin in order to make the statue itself. Taking about eight hours to solidify, these statues can then be pulled out easily, allowing the mold to be used again and again. Number three, driftwood works. If you want a resin table that truly stands out from the rest, then look no further than the custom pieces made by master woodworker, Daniel Nelson. Working out of the small town of Castlegar, British Columbia since 2014, Nelson was originally a pro skateboarder. However, once he retired from the pro circuit, he used the basics he had acquired in his grade eight woodshop class to get to work. As a result, he has now mastered the art of creating unique tables with innovative designs. However, he is most well known for his wooden tables and uses resin to make anything from river landscapes to snowscapes to green roots. Interestingly, he's more than just a table maker. After all, being that he was a pro skateboarder, it shouldn't come as a surprise that he makes wooden skateboards with resin stripes in the middle and that he also received widespread recognition for his wood and resin guitars, knives, clocks, and serving trays. Now, in order to create each piece, he starts by finding either driftwood or lumber discards. Nelson then mills it, shapes it, and sands it. And once this is complete, he adds an eco-friendly dousing of epoxy resin made of soybeans mixed with color pigment. He then buffs and varnishes the piece, adds any necessary extras, and ships it to the customer. Luckily for us, given the amount of work he puts into them, his pieces are relatively cheap. If you'd like your own full-size wooden table, it'll only set you back about $750, with this price including shipping to anywhere around the globe. As a result, this fabulous furniture is definitely a decent deal. Number two, resin jewelry. Due to the possibility to color and shape resin into almost any design you could ask for, resin jewelry has been all the rage in recent years. In fact, just a quick search on Etsy will give you the results of hundreds of jewelry makers selling bracelets, necklaces, and pendants made from this incredible material. And while it often costs as little as 10 to 15 bucks to buy your own piece, many have turned to their creative side in order to make resin jewelry on their own. Now, while working with resin takes some skill, with practice, you can make it in the comfort of your own home. In order to do so, you must first buy or create your own mold so that you can pour a mix that contains one part resin and one part hardener into the cavity. Then you can place practically anything you'd like into the mold, with many people often using paint, sprinkles, or small objects to make their piece pop. Then, after using a lighter or a paper clip to get rid of any bubbles, you must leave your mold to harden overnight. Once hardened, all you have to do is place the mold in the freezer for about 10 minutes, then pop it out of the mold tray. From there, you can use your resin pendant to create all sorts of jewelry, and be it drilling a small hole and placing a string through it to create a necklace or attaching it to a piece of rounded metal in order to make a ring, the possibilities with epoxy resin pendants are endless. Number one, Greg Klassen Tables. Put simply, Greg Klassen is a master woodworker. Originally a garbage man living on minimum wage in British Columbia, Canada, he decided to turn his life around by entering into the furniture making trade. Reading copious amounts of library books about the craft, he developed an interest in creating family heirlooms and high quality furniture. Leading him to quit his job and enter the industry with practically no savings, he was eventually trained under one furniture master on California's Redwood Coast and another on an island village in Sweden. Leading him in turn to becoming a master of his craft, his work has now won multiple design awards and has even been exhibited at the prestigious Smithsonian Craft Show. Now, in order to make his tables, Klassen starts by using an imported wood whiz machine from Australia to completely flatten and sand the wood. Then he uses natural gaps and divots in the pieces of wood he's using to create glass cutouts that perfectly fit within them. Often using powdered metals to highlight the river design and ACT for added structural stability, he then connects these pieces using epoxy resin. The entire process allows the river to run the length of the table 
while small lakes present themselves within small holes in the slab. Then after applying multiple layers of a clear protective finish that are so strong that customers could spill a glass of wine on the table and simply wipe it off, he then ships the piece in a custom-made container to ensure the table does not get damaged. In fact, as a result of this special care, he has never had a single piece of glass break while en route to a customer. However, if you'd like your own one-of-a-kind class and table, it's going to cost you. After all, a small coffee table starts at a staggering 5200 bucks, and a full-size table can cost a grand total of $26,000. Yet with these pieces being truly mind-blowing, we suppose that if your pockets are deep enough, they are worth the price. And that's all we have for you today, everyone. And thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which resin creation was your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notifications button so that you never miss out on any of our latest content. Until next time.